The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in an authentic hadith on the authority of Abu Burda radiallahu anhu narrated that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Yassiru wa la tu'assiru wa bashiru wa la tunaffiru wa tatawa'a wa la takhtalifa He said make things easy and do not make things difficult give glad tidings and do not repel people cooperate with each other and do not become divided The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and this hadith is uh, Al-Bukhari uh, and it's Sahih inshallah the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said three things, but gave three forms of advice. And I want to mention three particular points off of this hadith and these are forms of advice. The first of them is having the intention of unity. You know, men were competitive. You will find that we will be, you know, we're competitive by nature, where we, whether we're playing sports or it's an academic endeavor in mathematics or robotics or history or business, whatever it is, there's a level of competition, which is natural for the man and which is not misogynistic. It's not wrong. It's not inherently oppressive. Rather, it is something that Allah has given us for means of protection and provision and procreation even. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this quality of competition. But the problem is, is when that competition can lead to arrogance and belittlement of people. But the Muslim, because of the oneness of Allah and the, the, the institution of the fraternity between human beings in general for humankind, but particularly those of Muslims that recognize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no partners, that they recognize that God is not like the human being, that he is a creator. All the beautiful names and attributes that we learn and that we encounter and experience and hopefully articulate uh, to, to, to others is that we should not want to be divided, that we should want to come together. And the Sharia, the deen of Islam takes all means in doing that, whether it's smiling in the face of your brother, not backbiting him, not lying against him, these are manly characteristics and standards that when you're amongst men, you don't want to be someone that you know gossips a lot or speaks badly about somebody because they have better physical ability than you or are more intelligent or are more savvy or are more artistic, whatever it is, you want that ultimate initial in the beginning, that intention of unity. As soon as you meet your brother in Islam at the masjid, on the basketball court, even though you're competing against him, you want to have that intention that that's my brother and I love him for the sake of Allah. Not, I don't know this cat, I don't know him, and I don't know if we're gonna get along. That with that intention, shaitan can easily creep in. The second point is where we always remember where we came from. Because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, yassiru wa la tu'asiru. Make things easy and do not make things difficult upon the people. There is a difference between tough love and just being a tyrant. It's tough love. The person knows that you love him. The person knows you love him. So if you're older for your younger brother and you want to show him how to, you know, drive or you're teaching him how to work out and you make him do that last rep and he's crying or you're the one that's crying and you wonder, you know, does he really like me? Does he love me? SubhanAllah. It's important for the, the teacher, that's the man, when teaching young men how to be men, that you show times of love, that you congratulate them. But at the same time, you lay the sledgehammer down when needed. But it's important that you have both sides, that you have the goodness, the ease, because you should remember where you came from, where you started, when you remember the person that was hard on you. Hopefully it was your father, your uncle, your grandfather, your coach, your teacher, your neighbor, your mentor. The one that took you from one stage to another and it seemed like he was hard, but you look back now and you say, wow, those were life lessons that were taught. Never forget where you came from. When the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was saying, give glad tidings and do not repel people. Because those people that you're calling to good, those youth that you're calling to good, part of your masculinity. As a college student that's looking at these young middle schoolers, remember, you were once there. When you remember that, Try to put your mind and your mentality into their mentality, and that will make your teaching, your guidance, your mentorship much more dynamic and much more conducive and instrumental to their masculinity and development. Third point is looking at the bigger picture instead of the emotion, emotionally reacting of impulse. When the Prophet ﷺ said, cooperate with each other and don't become divided, usually what causes division is an opinion, opinion that I may have that may be a valid opinion for division. But as men, we should ultimately seek to work together because that's what makes us stronger. And particularly as Muslim men, 
looking to work together because that's what will make us look more unified, particularly in areas where there may not be a lot of Muslims and you're misunderstood for being misogynistic, barbaric, oppressive, particularly to women, backwards in society, right? When they see that you're strong, you have self-control and it's for someone greater than you and greater than all of creation, that is something that is much more impactful to where you don't react quickly. When you're playing on the basketball court and your name is Muhammad or Ahmed and they may know you as a Muslim, they may call you a terrorist, they may call you a tyrant. You don't react emotionally and just want to fight. You know, not to say that there's not room for fighting if someone crosses your space and they try to violate you. But in the beginning, you don't respond. You don't respond. Then you address them and say, look, you know, that, that, that you know, you probably want to stop that. We don't want to continue. It's just going to, it's going to result in something that's not good for the both of us. You don't react emotionally. You react logically. You think, where is this going to lead me in regards to the, to division of the brothers? Where is it going to lead me as a man when I get married and I react off of impulse? So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was giving this advice actually to two companions when he was telling them to go and give da'wah, call people to Islam. He gave them, them the, these guidelines that you are looked at as a representative and in some cases a leader. You, inshallah, young man or man, you are or will be a leader. Don't react off of impulse. Think of the bigger picture. And that's what's needed for you to be a master man. Barakallahu feekum. May Allah bless you all and make you of those that work off of intellect and that understand the bigger picture in life. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.